An Afrofuturist odyssey with a punk techno aesthetic, a dreamlike mood and a revolutionary spirit. It opens up a new dimension for African cinema. I'm not alone. Tell him I need somebody. Neptune Frost was co-directed by artists Sol Williams and Anisia Uzeman, and they're in the studio to tell us more. Sol, Anisia, thanks Hello. for being here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Now, this film is unique. It's a true one-off. It flirts with different genres. It's formally very experimental. And I believe that the ideas, the characters and the story have been in your mind for almost a decade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you come to the conclusion that the format should be a film? Hmm. Well... I mean, it's true that we worked on it for about seven years and, and at its conception, it was always a musical, um, but we were initially thinking of it as a musical for the stage. And we approached the producer of Fela, the musical on, on Broadway, uh, Stephen Handel and Ruth Handel, and they read the script and immediately said, I love this and I'd be even more excited if it were a film. I think it's a movie. And for Anisia and I, that opened up a world of possibility. The fact that we'd be able to shoot on location, um, it, 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 it became a, a whole exciting challenge as a result of that. Yeah. Mm. To build a community, uh, to be able to, you know, share a space where, uh, you know, to make people discover a place uh, in, a, in, a, in a fantastic way. So mm. it was really exciting for us to transition into the film format. Yeah. It definitely has a visual character. Now, Neptune Frost opens as a miner, Techno, is killed while extracting cobalt from the ground in Burundi, where the film's set. This is a really stark comment on uh, our relationship with physical labour, the exploitation of the planet. We are all aware, obviously, of the devastating consequences of colonialism, both environmentally and socially. But do you think we're really tackling these questions effectively right now? Uh, well, I think as, you know, for corporations and what have you, uh, what does it mean to tackle these questions? What does it mean to to be responsible and, and ethical in, in how we progress? And, and the question that, that we're raising in the film is, is, is one of, of ironic consequence. It says, you know, that so many of our technological advances are based on an analog form of exploitation. So are they advances if they're based on analog exploitation? And it's not only there, of course, we know, you know, we've heard what Amazon workers have to say, you know, about, about their treatment and, and the restriction of unions there. And, you know, th there's so much to be said um, about how we can progress as a society and honor the workforces around the world. And yes, there's a long history to that exploitation and, and using art to question that, I think is, is part of the excitement of, at least for the film, for us. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. and leave, uh, giving your life to those people, you know, because we are talking about phenomenon, political phenomenon, et cetera, but behind that, it's people, people mm -hmm. who have dreams, people who, ha who, who love, people who, you know, have um, aspirations. And, 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 and so the idea was also to be able to uh, identify those people uh, and that you know for them not to be an abstraction or just yes. a, you know a problem mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah indeed those individuals that community that you're talking about there's a revolutionary collective of hackers in your film they're mm -hmm. committed to overthrowing the bad old uh, regime the bad old world order in our real world away from the film do you see glimmers of hope in terms of progress where do you see that <laughs> <laughs> you know, those glimmers of hope are, are in discussion. I mean, I'm, we're artists and, 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 and believe in, in the power of art to raise questions so that the people who work in these fields can, can feel challenged, can feel inspired, can, and, and what have you. Um, in terms of hope, I, I think there's always a sense of hope. What do you think? Yeah, me, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's... Um, <clears throat> As long as we are alive <laughs> and sharing um, and uh, able to connect things and to to stand at intersections of, of you know of, of thoughts and, and possibilities, I think yes, there is a, as long as we are able and willing to uh, to um, to think and to do better. Mm, creative collaborations, yeah. of course, being a source of hope. Now, Sol, you composed uh, the music, uh, the score as well mm. for this film. Let's take a look at one of the songs that feature in Neptune Frost. This is Binary Stars. Mm. 
Once upon a time, Tango Yakala, once upon a time, Tango Yakala, Chira Chan is a money son, Chira Chan is a money son. Tulishi Juya Melima, my mother and father were binary stars. So we see the unique aesthetic of the film in that clip, sort of neon colours, atmospheric lighting. And Isia, I know that you did the photography, the director, yeah. visually. What were your inspirations for Neptune Frost? Um, you know, many, but mostly here we are seeing a, a dream sequence. And I thought it was really exciting to try to translate what a dream looks like on, um, on screen uh, when it's a part, so, such a part of the story. And so um, for this, um, this sequence, I was inspired by black lights, by, you know, what, what, what the colors. People say that we dream in black and white, but me, I think we dream in, <laughs> in <laughs> colors that are, you know, complicated and difficult to, to describe. And so uh, we were inspired by um, the, the very amazing scene um, of art, visual artists on the continent, primarily. It's a discussion uh, with the, the, the emerging, you know, uh, new talents on the continent that are like questioning visuals and also uh, reclaiming visuals um, by, um, by, by people for the people, like, that are like kind of freeing um, ourselves uh, from the, the, the images that we are used to see of ourselves, which, which are often not ours. Mm, it certainly are, feels like, yeah. very avant-garde. Now, one of the protagonists, Neptune, is played by two different actors, one's a male, one's a female. There's a duality to this character that seems to kind of transcend gender. What does Neptune have to teach us? Well, I, I think the idea of, of this film being a, a fable that is a, an invitation an invitation to 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 all viewers, to 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 all people, um, to to transcend, uh, you know, the the norms, the the rigidity of 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 normative, uh, you know, perceptions and what have you. I think that working on a film is is an opportunity, and and that people um, should actually feel, you know, reflected and and honored, and and so there's there's a uh, our it's true the character Neptune is is intersex in the film, um, and and so we have a way of of exploring that, um, and and the way that it works with the story, the way that that it honors the reality of 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 what it means to be that in this day and age, and and also speaks on you know the ways the the horrendous ways in which so many uh, you know rigid people in, in positions of authority or leadership have have responded to maintaining this binary outlook on life. We want this film to reflect something greater um, and and something ancient and modern. And um, and so I there's a lot that I, I guess Neptune has to to teach us, so to speak. Mm. <laughs> and, and beyond the musical aspect, of course, mm. sound is an integral part of this film. That includes drumming, dancing, chanting, even the construction of sound. Let's take a look at another moment in the film where the characters touch on that element. Mm. So it's a very complete uh, understanding there of what sound, what music means, what it does. Now, Anisia, going back to cinema, I know you have a background in film, and I believe the two of you met on Aujourd'hui, the film by Alain Gomis. Yeah. You shot Neptune Frost in your home country of yeah. Rwanda. Yeah. How do you see the next chapter of African cinema? Where would you like to see it going? Oh, um, wonderful. I'm, I'm full, full, full of, uh, of uh, ex hope and, and, and more than hope. I know it's, it's on its way. Um, I think uh, there is, as I said, a kind of um, 
very interesting revolution going on, on, on also because of the new technologies, <laughs> of the accessibilities of, those, of, of the cameras, of the material to make films. I think um, the imagination also is, 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 is um, like exploding right now, and, and we are realizing that we can tell stories as we want to tell them. And so, yeah, there are, there are a lot um, of films happen. I think I think it's going to be. I think it's great already. Yeah, it's actually. certainly going in an exciting yeah. direction. Now, finally, we asked you to flag up something that's on your cultural radar at the moment. You flagged up singer-songwriter Michelle Nagodicello, mm -hmm. who's releasing new material. Tell us what you loved about this sound. Well, what I love about Michelle Nagodicello, who's an extraordinary bassist and songwriter uh, for this project that's that's on its way out, is her varied collaborations. She's collaborating with a lot of African artists. She's uh, exploring, she continues to explore um, her sound, her style, uh, but also is so interested in stuff that's quote unquote beyond necessarily her style. And she's never really fit into a genre. Um, and you know, for, for us, the people behind Neptune Frost, we we appreciate that sense of of exploration, of 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 growth, you know, and 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 danceability. I mean, it, it's still there. It, it it's something that's that's just beautiful. So yeah, I'm I'm excited about her new album. Yeah, pushing through genres in every art form. Then. Yes, mm -hmm. guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll leave you with uh, Michelle's latest single, Vuma, and a reminder that Neptune Frost is out in French cinemas at the moment. Otherwise, do check out our website for more arts and culture. That's on our social media too. There's more news coming up on France 24 just after this.